praying for an arrest in the death of their friend. It's been two days since this former Marine, Douglas Cox, was killed while trying to stop an armed robbery at an internet cafe on Edgewood Avenue. Well, this morning, Jacksonville police in investigating another armed robbery at an internet gaming cafe. The latest happened to the Wilson Arcade near Wilson and Blanding around 4.30 a.m. Two gunmen came in and ordered employees to give over cash and cell phones. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci is joining us live from police headquarters after speaking with Cox's girlfriend. Vic, she wants answers. She does. She is obviously frustrated in so much pain tonight. She hopes that police can put a stop to this and end the violence. She tells us her boyfriend was a great man who saved a life, but in doing that, he lost his. He's gone. He ain't back. He ain't going to make nobody laugh or smile and giggle anymore. Lisa Fighter says she is lost now that her boyfriend Douglas Cox has been killed, murdered while playing games at this internet cafe. How'd you find out? How did I find out? We were coming from McDonald's and we drove past seeing all the cops and our friend's SUV that they were in. He just looked at me and I could tell and I hit my knees and that was it. He said he was gone. There was nothing more that could be done. Cox's girlfriend says he was a regular here at the Dream Arcade on Edgewood Avenue North. He was here on Wednesday spending time with his friends trying to enjoy himself when a man wearing all black stormed in with a gun. He's a good friend. Witnesses say Cox, a Marine Corps veteran, gave his life so someone else could live. He considered it as a hero because they were going to go in there and kill that woman. And he jumped in and got the bullet before she did. Once on one side of the heart, and then before the guy ran out, he shot him the other time on the other side. The killer hasn't been caught, and the arcade is already back open. However, they locked their doors for us. Cox's friends hope someone will lead police to the killer. Would you say that he died a hero? Yes, I would. He died doing what he believed in. Now that is just one of several violent and deadly incidents at internet cafes here in the River City. We have some others we're gonna show you on your screen. In fact, just this morning, two gunmen robbed the Wilson Arcade on the west side. In January, a man robbed the Lucky Charms Arcade in Mayport. He then carjacked an elderly man who lived nearby and crashed after a police chase. The crash killed the man. In March 2018, two men were killed by a security guard as they tried to rob the Spin City sweepstakes on Beach Boulevard. And there have been several other instances across our city of armed robberies and police reports that we are going to tell you about. Coming up, all new at 11 o'clock, we are going to talk with Cox's loved ones and tell you why they believe that internet sweepstakes should be shut down here in Duval County. We'll also get a response from the city. That is all new at 11 o'clock. We're live downtown outside police headquarters. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.